Hello, welcome to French Aloud. In this video, we are going to learn the punctuations in French. Les signes de ponctuation. Les signes de ponctuation. In French, we make use of the punctuation marks, just as in English. However, the French have a different name or different way of calling the punctuations from that of English. So, in this video, I'm going to teach you how the punctuation marks are called in French and also, most importantly, how punctuations are dictated in French. So, watch this video to the end and I'll teach you how punctuations are dictated in French. But before that, let's see how the punctuations are called in French. So, Let's begin with la virgule, la virgule, which is comma, comma, le point, le point, period, period. Deux points. Deux points. Colonne. Le point virgule. Semicolon. Le point virgule. Semicolon. Les points de suspension, ellipsis, le point de suspension, le point d'exclamation, exclamation mark, le point d'exclamation, le point d'interrogation question mark le point d'interrogation les guillemets côté chez Max les guillemets le trait d'union hyphen le trait d'union. Une apostrophe. Apostrophe. Une apostrophe. Ouvrez les guillemets. Opening quotation. Ouvrez les guillemets. Fermez les guillemets. Closing quotation. Fermez les guillemets. Now, having looked at how the punctuations are called in, in French as well as in English, I want to teach you how to dictate punctuations in French or how punctuation marks are dictated in French. So in this example, we have a sentence with two punctuations and so this sentence will be written as this. Quand j'étais jeune, je ne savais rien. Quand J'étais jeune, je ne savais rien. So, for somebody to dictate this sentence to be written, this is going to be the dictated version of this sentence. So, we have quand j'étais jeune, virgule, je ne savais rien. Point. Quand 
j'étais jeune, virgule, dix virgule, je ne savais rien. Point. Point. So, in dictating, the dictator mentions the punctuation while the writer writes it. Now, in this example also, we have Que fait-il? Que fait-il? Now, this question or this whole question would be dictated as follows. Que fait-il? Point d'interrogation. So, the dictator would have to mention the punctuation mark in the sentence, whereas the writer writes it. So, it would be que fait-il? Point d'interrogation. Now, let's look at another example. Sortez de la salle, a déclaré le directeur. Sortez de la salle, a déclaré le directeur. Now, this sentence will be dictated as follows. Ouvrez les guillemets. Sortez de la salle. Point d'exclamation. Fermez les guillemets. A déclaré le directeur. Point. So, in this case, the dictator is going to mention all the punctuations as they appear in the sentence, whereas the writer writes it in that order or in that manner. Here also is another example. Vous êtes censé être dans l'autre groupe, pas ici. Vous êtes censé être dans l'autre groupe, pas ici. So, this sentence will be dictated as follows. Ouvrez les guillemets. Vous êtes censé être dans l'autre groupe, virgule, pas ici, point d'exclamation. So, the dictator is going to dictate this while the writer writes this. Ouvrez les guillemets, ouvrez les guillemets. Vous êtes censé être dans l'autre groupe, virgule, virgule, pas ici, point d'exclamation. Here also is another example where we have a written test and a dictated test. So, Si vous ne soumettez pas le devoir maintenant, a dit l'enseignant, vous perdrez toutes les notes. Si vous ne soumettez pas le devoir maintenant, a dit l'enseignant, vous perdrez toutes les notes. So this is a written test. But in case we want to dictate this test, this is how the speaker is going to dictate this test. So, ouvrez les guillemets. Si vous ne soumettez pas le devoir maintenant, fermez les guillemets. Virgule. A dit l'enseignant, virgule, ouvrez les guillemets, vous perdrez toutes les notes, fermez les guillemets, 
point d'exclamation. So this dictated text will be written this way. Or the dictator, the speaker, is going to dictate this text in this manner, whereas the writer writes it in this manner.